Hey guys, it's May May, and it's a special Thursday edition of May May. And, um, I don't really know what to call it. Let's call it Thursday. Yeah, that day. <laughs> no, really, I'm very excited. This is a special edition where we will be releasing a new stamp set. So this stamp set is called Simply Spanish. And I'm going to tilt it where you can see it because I know I have a terrible glare, but I'm going to do it like this. Yeah, something like that. All right, I'm going to try this and I'm probably going to be really bad. And my Spanish design team girls are probably going to laugh at me really hard. But this stamp set is called Simply Spanish. It has 16 sentiments and this is what they say. This is a... Felicidades. I think that's right. I don't know, but it means congratulations. And if you'll look on the back, I'll have the Spanish word and the translation for every one. Okay. This one is te extraño. I think <laughs> this one means I miss you. Um, this one is Feliz Navidad. I do know that one because I love that song and I always sing it wrong and my husband laughs at me. So that's Merry Christmas. This is, um, hmm. Estás invitado. We'll try that. I'm not sure, but this one means you're invited. Um, these are easy. Ready? Amigo and amiga. You know, amigo is a, is the male version and amiga is the female version. This is hola <laughs> right there. Easy enough. Okay. Now, my son's girlfriend tried to tell me how to say this and I'll never get it right, but I'm going to try. Feliz Dia de la Acción Gracias. I think that's how you say it. But it stands for Happy Thanksgiving. So there's that one. This one's pretty easy because if you go to the Mexican restaurant, you hear this one. This is Feliz Compleanos, which is Happy Birthday. Uh, muchas gracias here, which means thank you so much or thank you very much. This one is Feliz Aniversario, I think, <laughs> which means Happy Anniversary. Um... Hermosa quinceañera. I think that's how you say it, but I'm not sure. And this means happy quinceañera, or um, I think that's right. Happy. Let me see. Yeah. No, beautiful. It means beautiful quinceañera. And I have it on the back there. This one is Feliz Dia de los Padres, which means Happy Father's Day. This is Feliz Dia de las Madres, which means Happy Mother's Day. I can't believe I'm actually trying to do this. This is um, Feliz Dia del Amor which is Happy Valentine's Day, right there. This is Feliz Pascuas, I think, which is Happy Easter. Oh, I did it. I got through them. Oh my gosh, so nerve-wracking. Anyway, so if you have some Spanish friends, or if you just like to, you know, I don't know, do Spanish cards, this is a great set for you. And like I said, on the back, every one of them is explained for you to the side so you'll know what they mean. Um, and let's get started on this card. I'm so embarrassed that I did that. Y'all just be like, look, y'all is my language. Y'all means you all, right? <laughs> so here we go. Let's get started. I saw a picture on Pinterest, and I thought it was the most beautiful card I'd seen. And I decided to do a Christmas card. So this, we're going to use Feliz Navidad. And this is a 12 by 6 inch piece of paper that I'm going to score at 6 inches. And we're going to make a 6 by 6 card. And it's going to have a little twist to it. <clears throat> kind of excited about it actually um here's what we're gonna do I have this piece cut um like I said this is six by six but I want to make a pocket on the front so I have this other piece that is going to adhere to the front so I can make a pocket but before I do that I don't want a perfect triangle like this I want it to be a little wonky so I'm going to kind of just feel it around so it's not perfectly straight. I'm actually going for a more crooked look. The only thing I have to be sure of is that I have space here and that I have space here that's flat for adhesive. Okay, so now I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to take this adhesive that I have here and I'm going to run it on this edge. I'm going to run it along the bottom. And then right up the side next to the score line, which you probably can't see, but I can see it because I'm up close. Next, I'm going to take this piece of paper that will be the inside. And let me do it straight so you can see. So the wording will be straight up. And I'm going to line that up perfectly with that front part. This will make sense in just a second when I turn it around. 
And the cool thing is, I didn't even know this. This is a happy accident. This paper inside of here says Merry Christmas in different languages. And there's Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad. So that was kind of cool. So make sure we have everything folded well. And now I have the beginnings of a pocket. So it's starting to make sense now, right? Okay. This card is probably the most decorated card I think I've ever done. I really normally don't do this many decorations, but I just thought this would be so pretty on here. So, again, my inspiration was on Pinterest. This piece is six inches, and I just trimmed off a border from a piece of paper from, um, this, this is a Martha Stewart collection, by the way, from probably a couple years ago at this point. But I love it, and I had some left. And I kind of want to decorate... I should have thought about this first. I kind of want to decorate this top edge. Just something like that. Just to give it a little bit of definition. I'm going to turn this over and trim it out. Because I went a little bit over. Okay. Now then, I have this all ready to go. And the next thing I want to do is run a little adhesive right inside there, and then I want to loosely put that down. That's a little too loose. Something where it has a little dimension left, so you can see how it's a little bit lifted up on the sides. I like that. Okay, next, a lot of fun on this part. I love this. Um, we're going to put, because we have so much red on the inside and we need a place to write, we're going to put this piece of paper in here. I love these colors together. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And I cut it down a good bit so that I'd have a nice border, a nice edge. Ooh. Okay. Now, in this pocket, I want to make a tag that the person can use later. So the card kind of becomes a gift also. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that. I cut this piece here at three and a half by one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I've showed you before, I cut a rectangle. I take one side and I cut a tag corner. Now, if you want to do this using your Cricut or whatever, that's perfectly fine to cut a tag. This is how I do it. I take it from this side. I flip it over and put it over here so I know that I get the same cut. And then I just follow with my scissors. And I just make my own little tags like that so that they match up. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and poke a hole. This little sleigh paper is from the pack. It's a border as well, and I just cut that off. So I'm gonna put that here. And then I had this little thing from a Walmart pack that says, baby, it's cold outside and has a little snowman. And the blue of the snowman was the right color. And I'm gonna put that right here and smash that down a good bit. This adhesive is not the best, but if you get it worked in good, it'll stick good. So we'll do it like that. And next on our little tag. No tag is complete without a bow and I love this ribbon. And you might not think it matches real good but you'll see when we get done it looks pretty good. I take mine and I make rabbit ears. And then I tuck it through the hole. Now I wanna show you here. If you just pull this like this, you're going to have a messy bow, okay? So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take this piece and flip it towards you because that's where the design is, okay? As you do that, you want to turn this one back because you want this piece to lay right as well. If you spend a few minutes fidgeting with those pieces of the bow, you'll be very happy with your end result, especially when you have one side print of ribbon. Now, if I can get my big fingers in there, I can tighten it. So you put your fingers in a pull, and you get a nice tight bow, and you just twist it out a little bit. And you get a pretty bow. Okay, now I'm going to trim these edges. Just like that. And this will be adhered to the top, but I'm going to leave that hole free. The next thing I want to do is do my sentiment that's going right here. What I did was on my Cricut with the Artiste cartridge, I cut out these little banner shapes. Um, they're tags or banner shapes or whatever, and I think they're really cute together. So 
I'm going to stamp on this guy. Stamp the Felice Navidad sentiment like we talked about from the stamp set. Place that down and give it even pressure. Now let me show you something. If you have stamps that stick like this and you have the Cricut, this is kind of a cool tip for you too. If you have this little spatula, if you want to just slide it in there like that and hold it down, you can just then lift this off. Isn't that neat? That way you don't take a chance of smearing it. All right. Now I'm going to adhere this to this. I'm just going to do that with my shotgun adhesive as Taylor calls it. Just put a little more on there. So I'm going to put that just like this. I'm trying not to smear my ink because I want it to dry good. I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. While I'm stamping, let's go ahead and stamp the inside of our card too. And what I did was I have this um, set. I don't know where it is from. Let me see if I can see the container. Yeah, oh, it's a TPC Studios, and it's Christmas fun. I got it at TJ Maxx, and it looks like this. You can see those. And I'm going to use the sentiment that says Merry Christmas. I thought this, I thought this would be neat for the inside to say Merry Christmas. I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to stamp it somewhere up here, like so. And then the last thing I'm going to do on the inside is I have the little Christmas tree off that same stamp set. I just think it'll be cute down here. Just going to stamp that there. Cute. Okay, so the inside's decorated. And it's just going to go along that same angle, like so. Okay, and then... I this button last year at Michael's. And I'm going to feed through some of this red and white ribbon from the twinery. I don't know what the actual name is. I do know it's from the twinery. I'm going to pull this through, and I'm not going to try to tie a bow. I'm just going to tie a knot. I just wanted something in the middle. Now then, on our card, we are going to put this little guy right here. Okay. The next thing is, I have the Martha Stewart Branch Punch, and I have been wanting to utilize it a lot on Christmas stuff this year, so you'll probably see it a good bit. And I went ahead and cut a bunch of these out with it. And that punch looks like this. I'll let you see what that one looks like, okay? And I am going to take some Tombow and just start placing these in and around that button. So I'm going to go underneath it here, like so. Okay, so now we have some branches on either side, and let's finish our tag. And all I'm going to do here is just take my ribbon, I mean my baker's twine, fold it in half and make a loop at the top. Stick that loop through our hole. Pull it out the back. Take these guys and feed them at the same time through the loop. Just make a slip knot, like so. That way, whenever the person gets it, if they want to use it on a gift or something, they can. And then this will slide into here, and it still has room to fit into the envelope, into a 6x6 six six envelope. And then last but not least, we're going to stickles it, because I think these need some stickles. Now with this stamp set, you don't have to just do Christmas as you saw. You can do birthday and anniversary and Valentine's and Mother's Day and Thanksgiving and everything. So if you have some friends that speak Spanish or maybe you have some mission friends that go on mission trips, they might need something like that for their friends and stuff that they send cards to. There you go. So there's our card for today for the special stamp set release. And this stamp set is called Simply Spanish, and I will have a link below for you to be able to go and pick that up. And these are $10.99, not including shipping and handling. And um, there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I want to say a special thanks to my design team members, Jesse and Lourdes. They both helped me design this. They did a great job, and I appreciate them for helping to illustrate this beautiful set, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>